All right, so we will call the uh, public hearing to order on October 13th for the purpose of talking about the CDBG 2021 funding. Our special presentation and only agenda item this morning is Lori Dunlap. Good morning. Uh, this year, for CDBG, we're going to get $248,534. Uh, I think it's up a little from last year, which is always encouraging. We are going to use 110442 to replace the stormwater on Center Street in Clarendon Borough, between Brown Avenue and Railroad Street. Uh, they do have a storm sewer there. It's undersized, and when the yards, or when the when it rains, the yard's on both sides of the street flood. So we're going to put in some more catch basins and um, a larger pipe. They've been complaining about this, I'd say, for 20 years. So finally, we're able to do this. We're going to add $93,356 towards the replacement of a portion of Center Street in Bear Lake Borough. Uh, this project is being funded under several contracts, CDBG contracts. And the balance will be used for administration, which is 44,736, which is $18,000 um, of the grant, which we're allowed to use. Uses towards my salary, um, putting ads in the paper, which are really, really pricey, uh, education, travel, et cetera. Are there any questions? public hearing, and uh, I would ask that uh, you please rise with me and join in the Pledge of Allegiance moment of silence for the Commissioner's meeting. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. This meeting is being recorded, and anything said in the meeting will become part of the public record. I'm sorry, did you want to have an elections meeting? No, we don't have anything. Okay, very good. Since the last time the Board of Commissioners met, um, we attended the Northwest County Commissioners Association meeting on the 4th. Um, we're obviously together, no county agency business was discussed. Um, we have had several executive sessions exempt under uh, paragraph 8 pertaining to public health at the jail. Uh, however, that was also with the rest of the prison board, so I'll make that announcement here, but probably also in the next prison board meeting. I can't think of any other executive sessions since the last time we met. Can you? No. Okay. Um, correspondence received uh, two quick things. First, we received the letter and certificate from the governor's office pertaining to moving from a sixth to seventh class county uh, action. Normally, uh, we would automatically become seventh class unless we opted to remain sixth. However, this recent act um, passed that basically uh, reverses that. So we will remain sixth unless we opt to become seventh, despite the fact that the county code uh, previously had indicated that since we fell under 45,000 for two decennial censuses, we would automatically become seventh class. So uh, this needs to be <coughs> reported in the registered reporter's office, as I understand, so I'm committing this to the solicitor to do so, and asking and committing as well to the solicitor uh, as a committee of one to come back to us with recommendations on whether or not to proceed uh, with becoming a seventh class county and that should be done by the end of the year. <clears throat> Questions? All right, next uh, you'll find a letter of support <clears throat> from the commissioners as well as uh, jointly crafted by the Council of Governments, signed off by me and Dan Glotz, which we would like to send to Chairman Stefano, uh, the U.S. Senate, and, excuse me, the Pennsylvania Senate, the gist of this is basically supporting Senate Bill 698. Um, I would like to read just a paragraph uh, for public awareness. 
Warren County is a very real, rural area, and as with other similar regions, uh, most of our emergency medical services are fire-based, and most of those are volunteer. That system is failing for many reasons, perhaps chief among them, the shortage of trained volunteers. Of course, fire rescue and EMS are vital services that we are compelled to support, but lack the tools necessary. It is our belief that local government should be given the latitude to fix such problems at the lowest level of government. Unfortunately, for many municipalities, the complexity of the current crisis obstructs their ability to dedicate the time and resources to solve the issue. Furthermore, even our largest municipalities do not have the economies of scale necessary to sustain emergency services. Therefore, the Warren County government does not know whether, uh, at this time, whether or not we will utilize a countywide public safety authority. <coughs> However, we wish to have the ability to do so if needed. Um, so I'm asking for the commissioner's support pertaining to that letter of support and uh, place it under the consent agenda. Last under announcements, we have a retirement. Normally we would go to the retirement party and uh, give a plaque for years of service, but the uh, party was unfortunately canceled. So at this time I would like to ask Laura McDunn and the warden to come forward. to the inmates, she's touched so many lives, and her knowledge, the help that she's given to our staff, it's going to be very difficult, if even possible, to replace. So thank you so much for everything, Laura. Appreciate everything, and uh, we all wish you the best. Thank you. Thank, thank you very much. Thank you. I would ask if there's any public comments. Anything to come before the board? Very good. Uh, you'll see under the consent agenda before you the agenda, uh, the minutes from 22nd, both public hearing and public meeting. <clears throat> they meet with your approval. Hearing no objections, finance report. Um, as of yesterday, we have 387,220. Large deposit yesterday for um, tax revenue that came in from the municipalities. We anticipate paying the entire t tax anticipation note off within the next couple of weeks. Um, and we're just pay paying normal bills, but this month we're also paying all the allocations to the different agencies that we support. Very good. Any questions? Hearing none, Human Resources reports. Human Resources report as of October 1st, 2021. New hires for Warren County include Kelsey Carlson, effective September 27th, as ID caseworker. Changes for Warren County include Tracy Strickland um, in the district attorney's office. She went to the assistant district attorney, effective September 7th, 2021. Angela Shaw has moved from the jail to 911 as a telecommunicator. Operations from the county include Anthony Mistretto from the Sheriff's Office, effective September 9th, 2021, and Keith Rayley has vacated his position at the jail, effective September 17th, 2021. Thank you. Any comments, corrections? Hearing none, I'd ask to approve the consent agenda, including the letter of support. I'll make that motion to approve the consent agenda, including the letter of support. I'll second. Second. Commissioner Agnes and seconds. Any discussion? All those in favor, please state aye. 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 Opposed, nay. Motion carries. Old business. Uh, the vaccine awareness plan, this is uh, postponed from our last meeting, uh, so the motion is still active. Uh, 
Commissioner Eggleston and Commissioner Durbin made and seconded, respectively. Uh, Commissioner Eggleston, since you were the one that made the proposal, is there anything you wanted to add? Um, I, I don't know that I have anything at this point to add. I mean, there's been some discussion about, um, you know, what the vaccine, what the vaccine awareness program would look like, um, which I'm more than willing to kind of edit, adjust, or incorporate uh, anything that anybody, um, you know, would be interested in, as long as it was, you know, felt like the medical community was supportive of it. Um, that's essentially it. So, um, you know, with that in mind, I guess I would just say that I would make, make a motion at this time to adopt or utilize portions of the ARPA funds as outlined in the plan to uh, do a vaccine awareness campaign via the county. Okay. You heard the motion? Second. Well, as this, um, interestingly enough, last two weeks I've gotten a lot of public comment from both people who were vaccinated and who people and individuals who choose not to be actually fairly equally in support of a vaccine awareness plan and not. My intention was really to have an impact on understanding what's going on in our medical community and our hospitals. and. Uh, I am now wondering if that is particularly the role of the commissioners or if it's more uh, the role of our health care providers and understanding who's in an inpatient setting and whether they've been vaccinated or not. So well, I don't think we want to go forward. I don't want to go forward with a, spending a lot of money on the plan. I would encourage us to uh, have the media outlets, if possible, go talk to the hospital and gain an understanding of what the situation is in an inpatient setting and the illness of those patients that are there and support that as well as perhaps we can encourage uh, radio stations as well to get the, to get the uh, information to the public as well. And that is in support of both Rick Allen at Warren General as well as Dr. Keith Price. Uh, who have kept us in the loop as to who is being treated um, and that the hospital is very full right now and that they are both encouraging the vaccine. Very good. The most recent motion then fails for or dies uh, for lack of a second. However, the motion made and seconded at the last meeting would still stand. So uh, this time I guess I would call a uh, roll call vote. Uh, Commissioner Eggleston, uh, your proposal, I or nay? Um, in, in support. Okay. Yay. Commissioner Durbin, I or nay? Nay. And then I'm a nay. Motion fails. Thank you very much. Uh, next, resolution 3192. This would establish the uh, <coughs> property assessed clean energy program in Warren County. We've talked extensively about the CPACE program in uh, previous work sessions. Uh, the formal adoption, however, had to go through a, a more lengthy process. Uh, as a reminder, the gist of this, if, feel free to correct me if I'm wrong, but the, the gist of the program would enable uh, various uh, property owners to attach onto their property tax bill. Um, a uh, assessment on improvements that have been made. Do you want to add anything to that, solicitor? The best, best way to understand this program is uh, CPACE uh, allows business uh, owners of business property or commercial property in the county, anywhere in the county, to acquire uh, lending for purposes of uh, increasing the sustainability of that building uh, and then have that obligation uh, be treated as if it was um, a real estate tax. So it would be levied upon and assessed um, in the same manner. So it would uh, essentially give, it's a, it's a different way of, of financing uh, that kind of development. We don't, of course, don't know if this will be used or not, but um, 
the city and Warren General Hospital have both come out in strong support of it. And uh, there's really no downside besides perhaps a little bit of clerical work on our assessment department's behalf, but they have agreed to it. So uh, if there's no further questions, I'll ask for a motion to approve Resolution 3192. I'll make the motion to approve Resolution 3192. I'll second. Motion made and seconded. Any discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor of the motion of approving 3192, please state aye. 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 Opposed nay. Motion carries. Next, Resolution 3193, authorization for fiscal year 2021 CDBG funds, as just discussed in our hearing. Are there any questions at this time? Hearing none, could I have a motion to approve the resolution? I'll make a motion to approve resolution 3193 for fiscal year 2021 CDBG funds. I'll second. Motion made and seconded. Discussion from the board. Hearing none, all those in favor, please state aye. 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 Opposed nay. Motion carries. Next, resolution 3194. This uh, <clears throat> is an update to our government management system policies and procedures, namely adding a new procedure pertaining to the processing of outgoing mail. Uh, Chief Clerk is the primary author and, uh, of this, and um, I think it's a move in the right direction as uh, previously processing all the mail has fallen on various offices and people on behalf of the entire county. and what I understand about this process, it really kind of democratizes things and has each of the departments manage their own outgoing mail, correct? That seems more equitable. Uh, there are, this resolution would further authorize the chief clerk to uh, implement subsidiary documents to this procedure, such as uh, training documents, um, any forms or uh, workflows, et cetera, pertaining to that system process. Any questions for the Chief Clerk at this time? Hearing none, do I have a motion to approve Resolution 3194? Yes, I'll make the motion to approve Resolution 3194. I'll second. Motion made and seconded. Discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed nay. Motion carries. Next, on Mon uh, yesterday's work session, we discussed uh, various approvals of American Rescue Plan funds. These are internal uh, needs such as sanitizing dispensers, uh, laptops, touchless faucets, just to give you a sample of a few of the things, um, a possibility of a county emergency operations plan update, etc. Um, these were discussed at the work session, so we won't go into detail at this time unless there are any questions, in which case I would direct them to Ms. Agber. Hearing none, do I have a motion to approve the ARPA requests listed on your schedule? I'll make a motion to approve the ARPA requests that are listed on the schedule in our packet. I'll second. Motion made and seconded. Discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor, please state aye. 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 Opposed nay, motion carries. Um, next, memo of understanding. This is kind of an emergency uh, uh, MOU. In previous, as you know, the commissioners are the uh, body that approves the collective bargaining agreement. Um, there was some discussion about having a hazard pay uh, increase for corrections officers primarily in the jail who were asked to wake up in the morning, go into a known hazardous environment uh, with COVID in the building and, um, and work in that kind of environment. Uh, the commissioners wished to offer a gift uh, to said officers who are putting their lives on the line and um, have hammered out a memo of understanding between the county, or I should say the fiscal uh, officer has negotiated, I suppose, a, uh, an offering to the AFSCME union. Uh, this would pertain to uh, corrections officers and sheriff's deputies who have 
uh, work directly with inmates who uh, tested positive for COVID. This is not meant to extend beyond uh, those employees to employees that do not have direct con contact with known inmates. Uh, it is not meant for, for instance, corrections office, or excuse me, uh, 911 dispatchers or uh, others. Again, this is just an MOU, so it's a good faith effort to address the fact that we appreciate our employees going into that building every day and working so diligently. In many cases, I know they worked several overtime shifts in the past uh, week or two and were frankly exhausted, so I think this is a uh, nice gesture. Um, again, I know we had talked about putting it on the salary board. Uh, that said, because the collective bargaining unit is solely within the uh, commissioner's purview, uh, that's why it's being brought before this meeting on the salary board meeting. So with that, uh, Commissioner Eggleston, since you had a hand in drafting this, is there anything you wanted to state? I, I think that you covered it well. I would just say that you know we appreciate everything that the corrections officers have done and to try to mitigate COVID in the jail. And uh, you know this is a sign of our appreciation, and, and we hope that we can continue to work to mitigate the um, situation in the jail and, and hopefully get through it together. Uh, one minor correction, we had explicitly excluded school resource officers um, because they, we, it was our, I believe, misunderstanding that they did not have contact with inmates. That said, uh, we have since this, the drafting of this document been corrected on that front. Um, apparently our school resource officers were actually the first task with uh, going in and stepping in if too many corrections officers were down. So with that in mind, uh, I suppose I'm making a friendly amendment to this. Um, and I would ask for a motion to approve the memo of understanding before us between AFSCME and the county. I would make that motion. Second. Motion made and seconded to approve the MOU before us. And again, I would assume that is striking, quote, school resource officers. I'm supportive of that. I'm also supportive. I didn't know the union supportive. I spoke with them just before. And any comments, questions? Hearing none, all those in favor of the memo, please state aye. 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 Opposed, nay. Motion carries. Last but not least, um, uh, our chief clerk, Pam Mavi, has previously served on the redevelopment authority and um, this is a, light, a late addition to the agenda. Since it has no financial bearing, we are allowed to add it to the agenda. Uh, there was a recent uh, term, excuse me, uh, resignation from Joe Scully, who had an unexpired term. Once he resigned, that left an opening, and uh, Pam Matthew has graciously agreed to serve the remainder of that term on the board. Dan Klotz sent us a memo stating as much I would ask for a motion to approve Pam Mappy to serve uh, on the Redevelopment Authority. Term to expire December 31st, 2021. I would gladly make a motion to appoint Pam to the board. <laughs> the term expiring December 31st, 2021. I will second, but I'm, I'm I guess I've been out of the office. Did Pam get kicked in the head by a donkey? <laughs> <laughs> I did not. Dan just has an overwhelming way of convincing people to do things. Well, uh, <laughs> I, I guess. <laughs> Pam's head's fully intact. <laughs> okay. Well. All right, so I know that Dan didn't twist your arm because he's not really capable of that, so. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, if there's no other discussion, I'll call the question. All those in favor of the appointment, please state aye. 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 Opposed, nay. Motion carries. Congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> Any commissioner's comments at this time? 
thank all the people that are supporting the jail um, at that terrible time with COVID, and it's very much appreciated. So I, I know it, can't imagine what that's like, but um, I just want to say that we really appreciate all of you who ever helped as well. I have uh, most of the boards that I serve on are. We, we did just have a Northwest Commission meeting, and uh, the commissioners will need to meet uh, with Jill as a result of the Northwest Commission meeting, kind of give an update, particularly pertaining to broadband. Um, that said, the only other update I have has to do with the Economic Development Summit, which is coming up next Thursday. Uh, first of all, thank you, Pam, for helping me uh, reach out to the other counties and encourage attendance. Um, the other thing I wanted to mention to the other commissioners is I am not going to the CCAP conference, so I would like at least tacit approval to spend a couple hundred dollars that would have gone towards my attendance of said conference to instead go towards covering some of the expenses uh, pertaining to this um, economic development conference, namely rental of the space at uh, Penn State, the uh, Penn State Barrent facility. It's a nominal cost, as I said, probably a couple hundred dollars, and it seems perfectly appropriate to charge to our conference budget. Any objection? Okay. Anything else? Mr. Ickert, public comment, yes. Uh, I don't have any other comment other than can the union receive a, the amended copy of the contract? Absolutely. The yes, of course. We will sign that immediately after the meeting. Actually, I believe Lisa could offer us to sign that. She'll get you an updated contract, or MOU, excuse me. Either board document. Yeah. Anything else? Then I will ask for a motion to adjourn. I'll make that motion to adjourn. I'll second. Motion made and seconded. Not debatable. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. We are adjourned. Thank you.